What's up guys, it's David here and welcome back to my Resident Evil Remake Let's Play. How are you guys doing? This is part sick? Part sick? Part healthy? Or part six? Gotti. But anyways, Steve, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing great. Because you deserve the best in the world. Ooh, you would've been funny if you picked you. you would've been funny if you, uh, you grabbed it here, huh? Yeah, I get it. It would've been funny. But you know what? Steve's not that kind of guy, okay? He's he's a good guy. No, he's got a wife, some kids. Yeah, he had a few problems with his, uh, with his family. But you know, nobody's perfect, okay? And if you think you're perfect, you're probably wrong, okay? I'm sorry to say it, but... Probably actual factual. So, in this episode, we have gotten three out of four masks to solve the mask puzzle. So now we just gotta get the fourth mask and I do wanna explore one more area of the mansion before we get that fourth mask and see what's in the coffin. Ooh, look at this. That's a nice window. I like that window. You guys see this window? It's a nice window. Don't you think? I want this in my... I want this in my... House. Sheesh. You have to slam the door, Jill. Come on, I know you got some anger issues. Oh, Steve, how you doing, buddy? Thanks for not grabbing me, you the best. What a nice guy. I know he broke in here that one day. And I'm sorry for yelling at you. You know, if I would have met you beforehand, I would have let you come in, okay? I 100% would have let you come inside. Ooh, let's go. Uh, I don't think I need to use the fizz launcher for anything soon. I'm probably gonna get, ooh. I'm gonna take the shotgun, actually. So let's put the mask up. Where's the other mask? I'll grab the other mask, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put my pistol away and then take the shotgun to clear out that last bit of the mansion that I wanna explore. And let's take the gemstone. And then let's take the key. All right. So we're taking this shotgun just in case the zombie wants to test me because I don't have time for them, okay? I've got places to be, places to go. I got a dentist appointment on Thursday. You know, I don't have time for people, okay? I really don't have time for you. Okay, these zombies. Oh, Tom, Tom, what did I just say? Okay, look, don't make me, okay? Steve's been really nice to me recently and you've always been my favorite Tom, but don't make don't make Steve better. Is that Karen? Not his arm! Oh my god, his head! Viewer discretion is advised. Oh my god, is there another zombie? Is that another Tom? Get him out of there. Alright. I probably shouldn't have killed him. Because now he's going to become a Crimson Heed. So now I have to burn him, but that's fine. That's fine. I had to take out some anger on the false Tom. Okay. The real Tom is the Tom that's trapped. I love that Tom, okay? That Tom will forever go down in history as the best zombie in the world. But his counterparts, his twins? Jeez. Some nerve, okay? That one down in the basement, he tried to eat me. Okay? Tom would never do that. The real Tom would never do that to me, okay? You know who would, though? Barry. Barry would. He'd probably... He'd probably eat me. He'd probably... If I became a zombie, he'd probably, you know... He'd probably kill me and eat me. You know. It'd just be like that. So you gotta do what you gotta do, okay? You gotta do what you gotta do. If Barry was a zombie, he would probably eat me. Is that Walter? Walter. Look, Walter, you're not hiding anything. I see these bottles. 
I see this floor. It's a mess in here, okay? Uh, bullets on your bed? I told you to get therapy, okay? First it's anger, and now you're depressed. I get it, now you're, you're drinking. But this isn't... This isn't the solution, okay? Ooh. That better not be who I think it is, Walter. If that's your ex, we're gonna have problems. But anyways, let's find out what's on this desk. Keeper's Diary. May 9th, 1998. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from security and Steve from research. Yo, Steve! Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It took, it like looked like a skin gorilla. Monkey. Monkey! Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. At around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up, scared the heck out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there'd been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those, those darn people in research never sleep on holiday. I've been wearing the dang space suit since yesterday, and my skin's grimy and feels itchy all over. Okay, get over it, okay? You can't get got if you prevent the getting of the got, okay? The dang dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Well, that's no very nice. I went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen, and they were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not beating them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy, and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm, and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the heck's happening to me? Fever gone, but itchy. Today hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy. Scott came. Ugly face, who killed him? Tasty. Itchy, tasty. What a beautiful piece of literature. Okay. Let it be known that Jill knows her author. Boop. I got spooked. Steve, what are you doing in the closet? You funny guy, were you trying to scare me? Was this some elaborate prank that you and Walter set up? You funny guys. This better not have been a decision that y'all made while drunk, okay? Trying to scare me with guns in my hand, that's not a good decision. Jeez. I ship it. Walter and Steve. They're a pretty good couple. They're kinda cute, they're kinda cute. I'm gonna unlock this door actually. Um, that leads out to the hallway where Karen Zombie originally was. But yeah. Let me guys know what y'all let me guys know what y'all think about uh Walter and Steve down in the comments. I ship it, I ship it. Steve, they're 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 perfect to each other if you think about it. Oh Steve the Tom! Why did you just shoot him like that? Is he dead? Oh he died. He died. Alright, so I guess we're gonna have to go burn these two Toms. Tom imposters. Guys, they just don't know when to quit. They just don't know, man. Ooh, shee! Sorry, give me my handgun. Actually. We are going to take the incendiary launcher. We're going to take the... We need some high firepower. Okay, we're going to take the jam-filled infused... Please. Okay, I know 
I promise I wouldn't use them, but it might be needed for what's coming up. Okay. Might be needed. Hmm, yeah. I don't have any kerosene. Where do I... I know where some kerosene is. Let's go ban some zombies. Let's go! So basically... Your mom? She told me what happened in school today, okay? She told me she's having a rough time. And that's okay. But... You just... You just gotta keep going, okay? You just gotta keep going. It gets easier. I promise. Life... Will get easier. That's a lie. Shut up. Don't don't lie to yourself like that. You just gotta keep thinking that it'll get easier, and it'll get easier. Okay. Wise words of the day. You, 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 you. If I burn this zombie, my evil scheme will come into play. Oh no, I cannot burn the zombie. Come on. Let's go. Get burnt. Looking like my right hand over here. Jeez. You don't even want to know. You don't even want to know. Just burn the zombie. Oh my god, we're gonna burn this zombie now. Let's go. I'm bad. Let's go. All right. So we're gonna go refill the kerosene, and then I'm gonna grab all the mask, and then we're gonna go get the glass mask, and uh, we'll be good for the day. So I've been thinking about recently. I've been thinking about what I should do next on my channel. So right now we're doing Resident Evil, and I would love to keep doing Resident Evil. I'm fine with playing literally every single Resident Evil that I own, which is pretty much all of them, and I'll put them on my channel. But I wanted to see what you guys thought in terms of what y'all wanted to see next on my channel. If you want to keep it in the same vein, I can play Resident Evil Zero, which is pretty much... They got released at the same time. They both got released in 2002, and that's okay, you know. So they play a lot alike. They look they look pretty much identical, not in terms of like setting. They don't look the same in setting, but in terms of graphics and how they do their engine, it's the same engine. Uh same gameplay, third person, except for they add a big twist on Zero Zero has a a co-op option, like a you control two characters at once. And I've played Zero like twice before. I've really only played it twice. I barely remember most of the game. I remember the first third of the game. And then I remember... Hmm, let's see. I, I, I know I remember the last... Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, it's Walter and Steve. I'm glad to see they got together. Okay. That's a good couple right there. Walter and Steve, I hope you guys prosper in life. Okay, I hope that you don't open the door every time I walk by one. How about that? Okay. You guys can marry each other for all I care, but you better not be chasing me everywhere through this map, okay? But anyways. Zero has a very similar engine. It has its own twist on gameplay, though. Uh, it doesn't even have an item box, too. They have an item dropping system. We interrupt this program to tell you about Mona Lisa's drip. Look at the drip! She's dripped out. Drip drip. Look at that necklace. She's got ice on her wrist, her neck, her head. Facts. Facts. But, basically, um, I don't know if I press this one. That's not the press. Okay. But Resident Evil Zero, like I said, no item box, has its own twist on a lot of things, you know? 
and I mean it'd be interesting to watch if I if I did Resident Evil 0 I would do it pretty soon I don't want to jump too far from series so like if I do one series of Resident Evil and then you guys make me do so you guys made me do Devil May Cry I'd be fine with doing that but I don't want to do 45 different series and then come back to the Resident Evil series okay so I'm fine with straying away from the series but i would prefer to stay within the same vein of series if we can you know so just take that into consideration but like i said i'm up for pretty much anything you guys want me to play sonic i mean shoosh guess we could play sonic but if you guys want me to play resident evil zero that's fine i got double may cry I have some Dark Souls. I do plan on playing Dark Souls on my series. I will, I'll start in order, actually. I already know that. I'll do one, two, and three. And I definitely won't skip the order. Um, I also have a lot of other games. I have Sekiro, The Evil Within. I have Watch Dogs 2 and Watch Dogs 1. I have a bunch of the Assassin's Creeds. And then, if y'all just want to see something, I'll get the game just to... Just for y'all to enjoy the experience and if i've never played it that'd be an experience that we'd all have together so let me down let me know down in the comments which y'all think i should play next and this is the final mask all right you know what that means boys we're gonna go see what's in the coffin it is Atlantis down there. Gosh, I hope so. Ooh, shotgun shells. Oh my god, oh my god, I got shotgun shells. I got some shotgun shells. Dude. Let's go. Hello, Cupid. How are you today? Dude, Jill, why do you walk like that on the stairs? I just want to know that, like... You walk so diagonal. Who walks diagonally? You walk diagonally. I don't know if I can trust you. Can I even trust Jill? What if this whole time we've been blaming Barry, but I'm the secret jam stealer? Like, we've been blaming Barry, but how do we know it's Barry? What if it's been me all along? Okay. Can Jill villain... Can Jill be villainized here? Is it even possible? Who knows? Who knows? I have to get to the end to find out. It's a lot of jam spilling out of that box. Dude. That, that was a lot of jam. I want to know where all this jam came from. Let's find out where this jam came from. Oh my god. Dude, is that the head chef? Dude, that's the head jam maker. Ian, is that you? Can you make me some fresh jam? Nah. Sucks for you. Sucks for you. Oh, I don't have a thing. Oh no. This could turn out really bad. Okay. No way, no way. I guess he created the jam I wanted.